Hi, I ran away from home. Do you mind if I live with you? Live with me? My goodness, I feel like I'm gonna pinch myself to see if I'm dreaming. Hot dog, it's real! <laughs> Mr. Herbert, it's six o'clock. I'm, I'm not really tired yet. Well, you had those three cups of NyQuil. You'll be down soon enough. Okay. Good night, Mr. Herbert. Sweet dreams, Chris. Mr. Herbert, what's life really all about? Well, I suppose it's about trying new things. Sampling the sweet and the savory. Not being afraid to take everything life wants to throw up on into you. Wow, I never looked at it like that before. Thanks, Mr. Herbert. But don't you think it's scary to try new things? No, Chris. Life is like a new baseball glove. At first, you think you're never going to get a ball in there. But then you oil it up, work your fingers around in there a little, and pretty soon you're pitching and catching. I guess that makes sense. Sorry. You really know how to waste a Cialis, don't you? Chris, what did you do with my videotapes? I had a whole system. I was trying to find a good movie to watch. I've never even heard of most of these. Jeffrey at the Park? Mikey's Scoliosis Exam? Nephew Somersault Compilation? Well, even if you never heard of them, I assume you heard of the alphabet. You want to explain to me how Sammy Popsicle comes before napping various? Jeez, I'm sorry. Well, can we watch Lost Boys? I've heard of that one. Those? Those are different Lost Boys. Oh, hey there, young fella. Bringing me good news today? What? Come on over here, son. Hand me the paper so I don't need to use my grabber. Mmm. That's a nice muscly throwing arm you got there. Uh, thanks. Got a nice tip for you right here in my pocket for my arthritis. Why don't you reach in there and fish it out for yourself? Oh, that's okay, mister. I don't collect till the end of the month. I'll see you tomorrow. Weird. Hey, muscly arm. Why the long face? Oh, it's this girl. I can't talk to her. It's like girls are a different species or something. Oh, uh, who needs them? You like popsicles? Well, sure. And you need to come on down to the cellar. I got a whole freezer full of popsicles. Mmm. No, thanks. I gotta get going. Oh, don't make me beg now. <laughs> You're funny. Bye. Get your fat ass back here. Ah, uh, it's so nice to be home. You have 113 new messages. Oh, my. Uh, yeah, I was just wondering, uh, mm, well, where the newspaper boy was. <coughs> Haven't seen a newspaper in a couple days. Wondering if he ever gonna come back. <coughs> Guess who? Sorry to leave you so many messages. Just lonely here, thinking about the muscle on paper boy. Wishing he'd come by and bring me some good news. Where are you? Oh, you're starting to piss me off, you little pigless son of a bitch. Call me. Hi, Mr. Herbert. Oh, my God. Children, run. It's that pervert. Everybody into my safety basement. Oh, oh, that was a bad snap. I'm hurt, kids. Don't eat those popsicles till I get down there. And they told Peter to stay away from the wolf. But he didn't listen to them, because he's his own man. And he knew that sometimes the things that seem the most dangerous turn out to be the most fun. Yes, sir, it was a good day for young Peter. Are you a pedophile? I don't know what we're afraid of. Nothing would change if we made love. So I'll be 
your friend And I'll be your lover Well, I'm all done shoveling your walk, Mr. Herbert. Thanks, Chris, but there's some in here, too. Oh, I wish that scary-looking clown at the end of my bed would go away. Hey, skinny britches! That there's my man. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? You shall not pass! Christopher, what you up to? Hi, Mr. Herbert. My dad's helping me find a hobby. Well, you sure got a pretty morning for it. Chris, don't waste our time with the elderly. They're dying. Please, God, let me just sniff his hat. Let me just sniff his hat. That's all I want. Now I want more. You know, Chris, Seeing a young person like you enjoy puppetry makes me so happy. I feel like we could become good friends. That sounds like fun! Wow, I think you're just about my most favorite guy who's gonna die soon. That's the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. Oh, no! All right, children. Your mammy and pappy asked me to look after you for the next couple days. So I want to lay down a few ground rules. No cussing, clean your plates, and only a half hour of radio, and then it's off to bed. Well, that sucks. And don't you mouth off to me, or I'm going to slap you right in your penis. No offense, Mr. Herbert, but I'm a 17-year-old girl, and I don't need you here. Well, no offense to you, Meg, but you're a 17-year-old girl, and I don't need you here. Y'all know what day it is? No. It's bath day. Oh, I don't want to take a bath. <laughs> Not for you, silly. It's bath day for me. But I can't wash myself. Know anybody with a pair of strong young hands to help me in and out of the tub? Oh, rats! Thanks for buying me dinner, Mr. Herbert. Oh, I wanted to thank you properly for all your hard work. Souvenir photograph? Hell yes. He rakes and trims the grass. He loves to mow and weed I cook like Betty Crocker and I look like Donna Reed There's plastic on the furniture to keep it neat and clean In the fine soul scented air somewhere that's green Between our frozen dinners and our bedtime, 9.15 We snuggle watching Lucy On a big, enormous 12-inch screen On his December bride Chris Griffin, he knows best The kids play Howdy doody, as the sun sets in the west. A picture out of better homes 
and gardens magazines. Someday I know we too will go. You didn't know I've always got my family looking out for me. Oh, hey, Chris. This is Tyler. Don't make this weird now. Oh, what a gentleman. You pushed me. Boys, boys, we can settle this like reasonable and sexy teenagers. Whoever can swallow the most Tylenol PM wins. All right, raise some hell. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> well, Jesse, I guess we gotta find some other way to spend our evenings. And now back to ESPN's exclusive coverage of the Little League World Series. Oh, jackpot. And they cost me my job. Mine too. Superstore USA has their own paper route. That new paper boy done gone and broke my sternum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gosh, gosh, by gosh, it's a brand new paper boy. That's a mighty full sack you're carrying. Piss off, you perverted old freak. Oh, we got a fighter. Hey there, little fella. I'm 48. This whole place is a giant mind. All right, boys, the best targets are old rich people. There's one now. Go get him. Oh, no. There's no police here to help me. I hope you don't find the money strapped to my thigh. Excuse me. I'm looking for a car that's been tricked out to look like an ice cream truck. Damn it. I'm, I'm sorry, what? You know, with colorful pictures of ice cream treats. And it plays a tune that's fun for the young children. Da, 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 da. Da 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 <sighs> Chris, wait! Where are you going? I'm going to Mr. Gutentag's house. You can't. Why not? Chris, his name isn't Gutentag. It's Schlicknacht, and he's a Nazi! What? It's true. You gotta stay away from that terrible man. Mr. Gutentag isn't a terrible man. He's my friend. Chris, you don't understand. I'm trying to help you. Help me what? Clean your pool with my shirt off? Or wash your car in jean shorts? Bend over in front of you to get little bits of lint out of the rug? I know what you're about, Mr. Herbert. Free labor, and I'm not into it! Chris, you have to choose. It's either Franz or me. Chris, what's the matter? You look upset. Mr. Herbert was saying terrible things about you. He said you liked Hitler, and your name isn't really Gutentag. Oh, Chris, you can't always believe what you hear. For example, everybody thinks that prostitution is illegal, but there are ways around it. All right, let's do it. Both of you are under arrest for prostitution. It's not prostitution. You paid her to have sex. No, I paid her to have sex, and we're filming it. So technically, it's not prostitution, it's a porno. Oh, well, as long as you're filming and selling it, it's legal. Enjoy your day. Remember, kids, she's not a whore if she's an actress. This has been a message from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. 